Hey there, so today we're going to be talking about how to create CAM templates inside of Autodesk Inventor HSM. Now CAM templates are extremely useful, especially if you have multiple parts that require the same operations or the same tool paths. Save yourself some time and create these custom templates so that you can just work off of existing tool paths that you have already created. Notice that we have this part. Again, we do have a few tool paths already programmed. We have some facing operations, profiles, grooves, of course, some drilling operations, and then finally, we part the part off. So let's go ahead and see how we would create a template. Again, we want to highlight the entire tool paths by clicking on the first one, holding shift on our keyboard and selecting the last tool path. Then you want to right click, store as template, and then save it in a specific location with a custom name of your choice. So we've just stored that template. Now let's go over to our next part. Here we have again another part that's going to require some sort of turning operations. We can right click on our setup, create from template, and then select the template that we just created. Notice that you can just select individual toolpaths or you can create a template from the entire setup that you had previously. Now let's go ahead and regenerate some of these toolpaths by clicking setup one and hitting control G on our keyboard. Looking through a few of these toolpaths, notice that some of them regenerated automatically, but some of them still have an X next to them, right? Indicating to us that, hey, they're not fully regenerated. Let's go back into the drilling operation, select the appropriate size drill bit, and of course you need to select which hole you want to drill. Notice that the parameters from the previous toolpath also translated over to this toolpath. Again, in our case, we don't want to drill the tip of the tool through the bottom. So we can change the offset there. It's still going to be a deep drilling for retract. Once you're satisfied with that, go ahead and click OK. Of course, we can drag operations around. I choose to have the drilling operation first, followed by the facing operation, then a profile, and then the grooving operation, right? So the grooving operation was another toolpath that didn't, didn't regenerate. Let's go ahead then and constrain that toolpath, right? Again, notice that when you do have some sort of selection for that toolpath, most of the time it's going to give you an error or it's going to give you a warning saying that it didn't regenerate for the next part again because each part is different so the selection isn't always going to be the same therefore you have to go back into the toolpath and select the faces or edges accordingly now we are going to focus on that thread relief groove in the very front of the part and there we have the completed toolpath. We can run a quick simulation, make sure that we did everything correctly. Fast forwarding a few of these toolpaths, we see that everything looks pretty good. So again, guys, you can do this for both turning operations and milling operations. Keep in mind though that for turning, most of the features are going to be the same, right? Or the parts are going to be pretty similar in the sense that you have to create some sort of facing operation, then profile, and then some sort of grooving operation, right? So that's been CAM templates inside of Autodesk Inventor HSM. Hope it helps.